Hey everybody, this is Fran Frischella, draft expert and basketball junkie. To everybody who's watching, let's get our friends at General Manager Games the subscribers they deserve. Just press that red subscriber button and immerse yourself in sports AI through GM Games content. And on Twitter, it's GM underscore games. Let's get after it. Let's go. I guess that's the best lineup I can throw out there right now, right? Yeah. Cool. Utter disaster time. Three and 32. Wow. This is a tank session to be remembered. Actually, we're playing a little bit better, which is kind of weird. Um, we actually have now... Dinwiddie's playing really high PER right now. Um, Kaminsky with 2.2 .2 rebounds per game in 23 minutes. That's great. Um, Batazdi looked really good before he got hurt. He was actually carrying our team, it looks like. Because once he went down, we uh, were an absolute zero. Alright. Memphis won the championship. I don't think we made any moves in Memphis. But John Morant with the finals MVP right there. Um, yeah, we actually didn't do bad financially. All right, man. Just come on. Give us this pick. Come on. We can do it. Come on. All right. Second. I, it could be worse. Um, I'll live with second overall pick. Um, yeah, that's not the worst pick. All right. Um, so we'll take probably Roko, uh, Karin. Yeah. Um, I, I'd like Bates if he makes it to us, but we'll see. All right. Yeah, we'll take Pekarin then. No reason not to. We shall build our franchise around him. The new Dirk, they'll call him. Alex Antetokounmpo, why not? Cam Thomas. And Matty Sissoko. I have no idea if that's how you pronounce his name, but it sounded right. Alright. So, of course, nobody wants to resign with us. I don't blame them. I wouldn't want to resign with this team. Um, didn't know we had the on waiters. Um... Like, not even a lot. I, I legitimately did not know. When did we get him? Oh, the Yogi Pharrell deal. They got 3.3 .3 win shares from Yogi Pharrell. I'm not going to lie. That's actually a pretty big uh, fleece right there. All right. Um, either way, free agency we go. And I think literally every free agent refuses to sign with us. Or at least a lot of them. Yeah. That's great. Um, oops. Guess that's what happens when your team really sucks. Ante Zizic is the best player we can land. Ouch. That's rough. He's still the only one that will sign with us. That's absolutely insane. Come on, man. Somebody will somebody will take the overpay, right? Jerome Robinson? Seriously? We're, like, dealing with scrub-level guys at the moment. Michael could go Christ. DeMarcus Cousins won't even sign with us. All right. I kind of just want to chalk this season up to a, uh, we're not getting anyone. Yeah, no one would literally sign with us. I have to increase my spending on stuff next season. Um, but with nine roster spots, now we got spots to fill. Post progs here. We'll, uh, we'll sign Spellman to a two year, $3 million deal. So progs do not go well. Um, our team is literally just going to be Rocco and Batazzi up front this season. Um, maybe we'll pick up. And it's a Takumbo if we sign all of them. Um, 
is it Jerome Robinson, I suppose. And Kyle Anderson. Yeah, we're we're stretching here. Let's see, will anyone do a cap dump with us, maybe? I can get Rudy Gay in a cap dump and he'd probably be a starting caliber player. That's how bad we are right now. Alright. I think what we'll do is we'll go pat with our team here. But what I'm going to do is increase the spending. But we don't need good co coaching yet or health, but we do need facilities. How does I do 31? It's 1. 28, 24, 26 on that, alright, alright, so our lineup will be pretty clear there, um, I'm going to need to find a passer in free agency here. Because we literally have no one that can pass on him <laughs> on the team. Tyus Jones, you're going to be our starting point guard? Are you ready? I'm not sure I'm ready. But I think you are. Alright, Tyus. Um, see, is there anyone else that would like to... Brian Bowen plays good defense. Yeah, fine. We're a talented team. Yeah, it's going to be a great season. We're going to be unstoppable. All right. Would be great though if we could like. Oh, Goran Dragic. Yes, there we go. There's a point guard. All right. So since we don't have a point guard right now, um, I have to make up one. So we'll probably run with Tyus Jones as our starting point guard, but um, might switch to Goran Dragic if it doesn't go well. Fun. Alright, so Tyus Jones actually was playing better than I expected to start off the season, but Goran Dragic is definitely the better point guard. Um, Tyus Jones was a disaster. Will not lie. Um, Goran Dragic hopefully will make this team passable. Hopefully, Roko Prickison develops well. And with that, we will go to the trade deadline. But this is not going to be a good season. Not in the slightest. Don't be fooled, this season is uh, an utter travesty waiting to happen. Probably one of the worst seasons I will ever see. Um, somehow we won a game. I do want to see how we won that game. Um, because, my god, we are not winning any others. Let's go see the one game that we won. Um, game log. Here it is. We beat Cleveland with Kevin Love and Garland out. Um, and the reason we won was Jerome Robinson. Cool. Jerome Robinson, you deserve the one win share that this team has generated so far this season. I doubt we have much worth trading here, but due to high PER, you never know. Um... Once in a while, you're able to trade a guy like a Gordon Dragic for something. So maybe somebody wants to do a cap dump. I don't know. Okay, nobody wants Gordon Dragic. Does anyone want to do a cap dump? Because I'll take some cap. No. No, no one wants to do a cap dump. Not seriously, at least. All right. Hey, uh, ja Jake Lyman hit a game winner. 
against the Warriors. We are eliminated from playoff contention, believe it or not. I know that might sound hard. We beat the Bucks. All right. Um, we got a few wins. Yeah. We're worst team in league history for sure. Um, yep. The Lakers have just been one of the best teams. Lakers and Celtics. Celtics won, yes. As a Celtics fan, I'm happy in the inside. Uh, the Lakers got Giannis. That's not going to happen in real life. But, um, yeah. Ferguson didn't even make one of the rookie teams. That's cool. Um, I guess we're just so bad that we just ruined his career, too. All right. So, um, our finances were fine. But our coach wants playoff success. So, we need to make the playoffs this season. Good news is we have two picks in the lottery because Indiana has come crashing down. And we got pick 11. All right. Maybe we'll get a decently high one with the other one. Third? Okay. 11 and 3. Um, LeBron James Jr.? No, he went. I guess that's not really a horrid moment. I like to trade for him, though. I want Bronny. Um, so the one guy on my team that's not for trade is Procacin. 3 and 11. Oh, they... So they do Procus in for him, but man, he's a 33 overall. Not going to invest that hardcore in him. Um, I don't know any of these guys. So I'm going to take top guy right there. And I'm going to take top guy right there. And then I'm going to take the top guy right there. Yep, I'm just going to run with the top guys on this draft. This is actually a pretty solid draft, so hopefully one of these guys will develop decently and we'll be good. We're going to lose Batazzi probably. Yep, Batazzi doesn't want to resign. That's unfortunate. It's a pretty sizable loss. Um, everyone else can walk, though, because none of these guys have any real long-term value to the team. Um, I am a little upset losing Jerome Robinson, I guess, but that he does want $2 million, and I don't think he's worth $2 million. Nobody wants to sign with us again. That's cool. Oh. Maybe I should have signed Chrome Robinson since he wants $10 million in free agency. Yeah. Um, James Harden's a free agent. So, so far we are learning that the Rockets should not trade Harden. That is what we are learning. We'll sign Naz Reed to a one-year deal. And I'll sign D'Angelo Russell to a one-year deal. Rowan's Noel. We'll sign Grant Williams. Oh, my roster's full. Um, I'm going to free up some spots on. Actually, yeah. Uh, Whitney, you're gone. Sisuku, you're gone. John Wall, to a one-year deal. And Grant Williams two-year deal. All right. Progs, please help us, or else I will probably fail this. Ah, we got good progs. This isn't the worst team ever anymore. I mean, it's still definitely not a good team, but that's okay. Um, because one thing about being a bad team is that everyone wants our picks, and I am full down ready to take advantage of that. So I'm going to go to player ratings here. I'm going to go to trade block, actually. And I'm going to trade our 2025 pick. What can I get for that? Nothing, really. I can't get anything for 2025 first round pick. Damn, that's disappointing. All right.
Well, um, that's cool. Let's see how this season goes. Well, I don't have a uh, particularly great feeling about it. Um, what we'll run for a lineup will be... That. All right. I kind of have a little faith in this season. I actually don't think it's going to be a complete disaster. I guess we'll see. I think we'll be better than last season. Hey, we beat the defending champions. So, yeah, clearly better than last season. Um, great. Oh, two and ten. Oh. Uh, we're a little bit better, but we're definitely not great. Um, when he plays, Prokacin is phenomenal. So there's that. We have a lot of cap space. We're a much better team than we were last season. Um, but I don't know if we're going to be able to do good enough to not end this here. Number one. It was 20 here. That's it. Cool. Alright. And now. Honestly, Hubbard's is playing really disappointing. Um, this team isn't playing nearly as well as I expected them to. All right. We did not make the playoffs at all here, and I think we are about to get terminated. Oh no. Hey, I survived. Survived another season. All right. So we don't have our pick. Um. Yep. Great. Yeah. Um. This is turned up to be an utter disaster. So, Scotty Barnes, probably not worth bringing back. I mean, honestly, Reed would be the only guy here I'd consider, and I think I'll let him walk. We literally have the nicest like court and everything and we just can't get anyone to want to stay with us um just because of how bad we are this game is tough when it's on insane mode maybe somebody will sign a murray or something no i can still get reed and it's Bias Harris, yeah, nothing, nothing solid. I guess Kaminsky would be the best player at this point. Ouch. All right. Time was a Casarenzia, and we're really hoping on progs here. Um, Kaminsky, maybe the depth guy up front. Um, yeah, I'm just kind of spending money here, hoping that maybe we land something, but we need great progs or we're. Oh, we actually got good progs. I don't know. It's going to be tough. But we might be able to make the playoffs, but I don't know. Alright. I'm bringing a couple of these guys on one-year deals. I'm going to just utter burn that man's contract right there. Um, because I'm I'm really going to go hardcore on this. I'm gonna try to make it to the playoffs. It's gonna be a fight, but I think I can do it. 
All right. So Procrison, Hubbard, Neju, Alex Antetokounmpo, Kaminsky at the front. I think maybe we can do this. We'll see. Oh, it's going to be tight. It's going to be so tight. But um, we'll try. We actually won our first game, so we were above 500 for the first time in several seasons. A lot better than we were last season, but we are not great. Um, Procrison looks great. There's that. All right. I almost want to say I might be able to trade for one of these guys. I don't know if I can, but I might be able to. I might be able to pull up enough ammunition. Nope. Let's see. Need like low sixties here, like Justin Winslow. Really don't know if I want to trade Josh Christopher or Ant Takumbo either, but maybe we have to Oh. Yep. There we go. We finally got our deal. We got a decent deal here. Alright, that adds Winslow to our team. I'll probably move into Takumbo to the bench. Winslow into small forward. That might actually get us into the playoffs here. We'll see. He's definitely overpaid and old, but he's also a pretty solid player. We're not eliminated yet. Yeah, we are. Very damn. We got we got knocked out the last game of the playoffs. I don't know how it took that long though. I think we should have been locked out beforehand. Knocked out. Yeah, we were definitely knocked out way beforehand. Oh, I didn't give us the alert earlier. Damn. All right. Well, um, so I failed. I failed at the uh, Houston rebuild here. Um, we'll take a look at a couple things real quick. Um, first up, the big trade, the James Harden trade. Who won that trade? Let's take a look. Um, so we're going to go to Houston trades. And we're going to go to uh, 2020. And we're going to go find the Houston Rockets. All right. So I acquired Miles Turner, TJ Leaf, TJ McConnell, Aaron Holiday, Gogo Batadze, Kalel Whitley, and Daryl Hubbard in exchange for James Harden. They got 53.1 win shares. I got just 16.3, though Hubbard was still in the league. Batazdi was still um was, was still young. Uh, but honestly, I, I I did lose that trade. I thought I had a chance to have made it work. I thought I got pretty good value, but um and and Hubbard was good value. It's just God that is tough to move on from James Harden. Um and even such a haul was still a loss, um, and as a result, yeah, I lost, uh, we'll take a look and see if there's any, um, anything else that's cool that occurred, let's see, no players died, um, yeah, so, uh, ultimately, um, I failed the insane challenge, um, for rebuilding Houston Rockets, but, hey, it was fun, um, and, uh, challenging, v incredibly challenging, so, 
um, give it a go and uh, post your results in the comment section below.